this lecture i will discuss about the some important parameters which are useful to learn the concepts in this electronic devices course those are electron charge that is in this entire course always we'll talk about the some charges are moving from one place to another place it may be negative charges it may be positive charges right so when you are knowing that some charges are moving so we should know that what is the charge value so we have to use to find some the values at that point etc then whenever these uh, charges are moving the current will be produced so we should know what is that equation and what are the units of that current then we should know about these parameters that is electric field intensity potential and energy right and uh, also the one important uh, unit is electron volt that is unit of energy only so we should know about this uh, electron volt unit also that also we will see this we will see what is a charge so what is the uh, this symbol for charge is so generally we use q right so this charge can be two types that is positive charge negative charge right now the electrons generally we say negatively charged particles and what is that electron charge so electron charge is a negatively charged particles we can say so electron charge electron charge so generally the electrons generally we use notations as e minus so electron charge is nothing but negatively right so i can say minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs right the charge units are coulombs that is coulombs right now what is a positive charge so this is just opposite of this electron charge we can say the positive charge positive charge is nothing but we can say i can represent like this one as minus q and this can be represented as plus q or we can say plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb right so we have to remember this 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb for charge if it is an electron charge i have to use minus q or minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 if it is a positive charge we have to use plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb now don't uh, use if some in the expression some electron are using so whenever there you find some q there we have to replace with minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so we have to remember that one right so this is about this electron charge now we should know what is this electron mass also so this electron mass is equal to everyone knows that is 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg right so whenever we see any mass that is a m in this any expressions we have to use this value there 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg so whereas this positive charges will have the mass approximately we can say greater than this 1.5 times or 2 times etc so whenever we get some uh, positive charges mass there we we can use those values anyway that will be given actually next we will see what is this current so it is the rate of net motion of this electrical charges across a cross sectional boundary remember whenever there is a net motion of these electrical charges per unit time then only the current will be produced so random motion will not to a current remember this point so i can simply represent i is equal to dq by dt so what are the units for this one is nothing but amperes right so this is the current we need to use this expressions always we will use in this entire course right that is this one then how many electrons should uh, flow if i want to uh, produce one ampere current that also we'll see so to produce one ampere current there should be a net motion of one coulomb per second there is a net motion of one coulomb per second that is that is there is a one coulomb charge per second is flowing so to make one coulomb charge how many number of electrons should move uh, we know one electron charge is nothing but 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb to make one coulomb so what we need to do we have to divide with this uh, 1.6 into 10 to the power 19 by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 that is one coulomb per second will lead to 1 by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 electrons per second right so it will lead to 6 into 10 to the power 18 electrons per second so if i want to produce one ampere current there should be a motion of 6 into 10 to the power 18 electrons per second approximately we can say right 
now actually if i multiply this 6 into 10 to the power 18 into this 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 i will get 0 0.96 coulombs right so approximately we can say one coulomb per second right suppose if i want to produce one pico ampere current so what can be this one so there is a net motion of 6 into 10 to the power 18 into 10 to the power minus 12 because pico means 10 to the power minus 12 electrons per second so it will leads to 6 into 10 to the power 6 electrons per second or we can say to flow one pico ampere current there is a motion of 6 millions of electrons per second right so this is about the this current and the definitions and the equations right next we will discuss about this uh, field intensity or we can say electric field intensity so it is the force which is applied on an unit positive charge that is called electric field intensity so we can uh, use the symbol as either capital E or sometimes you will use as this one this one is like a epsilon but don't confuse with when we use dielectric constant there also we will use epsilon or we can say epsilon naught epsilon r also what so generally we go for ele electric field means capital E so it is nothing but force per unit charge that is force per unit charge is nothing but Q so this is a electric field intensity or we can say force is equal to electric field into the charge right so we have to remember these two expressions and uh, what are the units for this force force uh, units are newtons so so we can say this force is in newtons right now if i want uh, the electric field intensity uh, units so what i can make electric field is equal to newtons per coulomb and the alternate units for this electric field is volt per meter so why it is volt per meter so that will be clear once we discuss the potential right now what is a potential so always remember the potential always measured between two points only right suppose if i take two points a and b and it is an in an electric field in an electric field there are two points if i do a work against this field to move a positive charge or you can say unit positive charge moving from a to b is nothing but potential right so it is the work done against the electric field to move an unit positive charge from A to B right so suppose if there is a distance is some x naught is at A and x the distance is x and in a, an electric field right so this distance is we can say total x so the work done against this electric field is nothing but potential so how can you make potential so generally we use the voltage or we can potential difference or voltage difference so V is equal to work done against again means the negative sign and we have to integrate this electric field capital E with respect to dS from where to where from x naught to x right this is the potential or we can say voltage now this is very very important uh, equation always we will find uh, when you even, uh, even we go for EMTL also we will use this expression there now if I differentiate this expression with respect to x what I will get dV by dx is equal to minus e or we can say electric field is equal to minus of dv by dx that is volt per unit length is nothing but electric field right or if i integrate this electric field from x naught to x so we will get the potential or we can say voltage also now we can uh, easily say what is the units for electric field so this is volt and this is the length so we can say volt per meter using this equation we we got so many times so many questions in the gate exam using simple this expression only so they will give some potential difference and uh, the distance so they may ask what is the electric field sometimes they will give electric field on the distance so we need to find the voltage etc right so this is very very important uh, equation that is electric field is nothing but minus dv by dx or we can say simply dv by dx so if i take the potential difference on the distance so we will get the electric field next we will discuss about the energy so we will have two different types of energy that is potential energy and kinetic energy so what is this potential energy so generally we use the notation as u this is simply k dot e what is this potential energy is nothing but the potential at a particular point and the charge at that point so we can say simply q into v right so v is here voltage 
so on the uh, on the units for this one is simply joules right so this v is the potential at that particular point this is the charge now if it is a positive charge i'll get u is equal to q into v if it is a negative charge or we can say simply electron so negative charge what this q, u will become minus q into capital v right the joules the units so this is the potential energy now if i take the kinetic energy there should be some moment so when when we excite the electron so they will travel with some velocity so and it is having some mass so what is the kinetic energy k dot e is nothing but half m into small v square because this is a velocity of the the moving object or we can say moving charge so that is the kinetic energy half m into v square and this capital v is nothing but potential or voltage at that particular point now remember the law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy what is this meaning is so the energy neither created nor destroyed so it is only transformed so whenever it is transforming the total energy which is total energy the potential energy plus kinetic energy always it is constant only at any point if you see this energy will be constant for all points that is something like suppose there are two electrodes that is a and b which are separated by the distance d right and we apply some potential difference between a and b and this a is connected to ground always remember there should be some always the reference terminal to take the potential difference so we have connected like this and uh, the minus terminal is connected here that is minus vd at this potential or we can say at this point b if you take the difference zero minus of minus d it will become vd right now initially what is the voltage here zero then here potential energy will be zero but what is the kinetic energy at the initial because the electron is excited so it will uh, move from v naught so the kinetic energy will become half into m v naught square so initially what is the energy w is equal to zero plus half into m into v naught square when this electron is slowly moving in this electric field so there there will be some repulsions etc so the electron speed will slowly decrease suppose at this point p the voltage uh, what do you call it? the speed is small v then at this point the potential energy will become q into what is the charge into what is the potential at this point it is nothing but minus vd yes or no or we can say if we take the difference the potential difference i will get simply vd right at this p what is the total potential difference is nothing but vd and what is the kinetic energy at this point half into small m into small v square because this is difference between this v not and v now what is the total energy now w is equal to half into small m v square plus q q into capital vd and the law of conservation of energy telling that the pot, the energy will be maintained constant only that means half into small m v not square is equal to half small half small m into small v square plus q into vd now we will see what is this uh, electron volt unit of energy so it is nothing but a unit of work or energy called the electron volt right so we can represent this one electron volt is like this 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules right so this is very very important uh, conversion so how to convert from electron volts to joules this is the conversion so one electron volt is nothing but 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules now what is the proof for this one is so we have seen just now what is the potential energy is nothing but q into capital v suppose a electron is falling through 1 volt of this potential then what is the meaning right so 1 volt is like this so q into v q is what 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb for this electron charge and 1 volt we are applied so 1 v right so what is this q v means joules so it will become 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules right so electron I, how can i represent so one unit of work so one times of this is electron charge so i can represent simply electron and this is v 
so one electron volt is nothing but 1.6 times of 9 1.6 times into 10 to the power minus 19 joules we will get one more expression between this kinetic energy and the potential energy so why this electron volt the name comes is if an electron falls through a potential of 1 volt so when you apply or when we apply some potential the electron will start moving so its kinetic energy will increase how much the decrease in the potential energy so can i take like this half into small m small b square is equal to q into capital b then from this we can find the speed of that uh, electron etc so what is small b square root of 2q into capital b by the mass of the electron right so this is one uh, relation we need to find right so so this is about some uh, basic parameters of this uh, electron devices course so we have to remember all these parameters and uh, units and the conversions also right in the next lecture we'll start with the energy bands in solids right